we're going to keep talking about the potential coronavirus vaccine and do our best to make clear what's going on for you at home. If you're confused, stick with us. Am I right? <laughs> Or the doc. Or the doctor. <laughs> of course, that is not possible. Good point. Without our medical expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. She's wonderful. She's smart. And she's going to tell you as it is. The CDC director made a very bold claim about masks. And it has a lot of people talking, Doc. Let's listen real quick. These actually, we have clear scientific evidence. They work. And they are our best defense. I might even go so far as to say that this face mask is more guaranteed to protect me against COVID than when I take a COVID vaccine. Okay, so that's surprising to hear. Is that true? So Tori, it is true. So first, of course, today we don't have a vaccine, so the masks protect us better than the vaccine. But even if we fast forwarded to when we do have a vaccine, think about it. A vaccine is really damage control. It's after you've been exposed, it protects you, whereas a mask protects you from being exposed in the first place. Mm. And then secondly, as Dr. Redfield has said, there's some data that only about 70% of people who get the vaccine actually mount an immune response, whereas 100% of the people that wear masks are protected. Wow. All right, I like it. Earlier we talked about how we're once again hearing different things from the CDC and the White House. And as we mentioned, President Trump says we could have a vaccine as early as next month, and the CD says next year. Which one are you placing your bets on here, Doc? So, Jeff, on my 21st birthday, I went to Vegas, and I lost $1,000 on roulette in about five minutes. <laughs> so after that, I decided to stick to the slot machines only. I so love I've, slot machines. I'm not a betting woman. I love slots. <laughs> I'm just definitely not a betting woman. But in this case, I don't even think it's a bet. I mean, based on the science, the data, the facts, and the statistical probability, I think it is completely unlikely that in the next four to six weeks, we're going to have a vaccine available for public distribution. Maybe by December, we'll have something for healthcare workers, but I'm definitely thinking next spring. I, I also have a Vegas story where I was needed to be taken out because I wanted to play the slots so much. Okay, we're moving on. Before we let you go, there's one viewer question we want to ask. It comes from Tony who writes, is it possible to have the flu and COVID at the same time? Whoa. So a great question as we're heading into the flu season, and the answer is absolutely yes. Oh in fact, gosh. there were a few cases reported of both flu and COVID co-infections. So, and that was in the spring when the, the flu cases were declining. So as we head into the fall and the flu cases start to go up, we really do have to keep this in mind and remember to get that flu shot. That's amazing. Can we ask what you bet on the roulette? Was there a number? Do you remember? Because you have a number, don't you? I do. Okay, let's hear what your number is. I put it on my birthday because it was December 21st is my birthday. So I said, okay, 21, put it all on 21. Oh, no, that's so sad. What's your number, Jeff? 23. 23, Jordan. All right, fantastic. Do you, you, listen, I know you want to tell your Vegas story, so let's just get it out quickly. I don't want to tell it. Oh, you don't? Now I'm not going to say you it because of you. You were screaming off camera when you weren't even on camera. You are screaming about Vegas. Now because so of tell us no, about the slot machine no, story. because of spite, I'm not going to say it. Thank you so much, doctor. <laughs> You'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> if you do have a question about coronavirus you want answered by Dr. Coley, write us on social media. Don't worry. It can be anonymous. You can email info at dailyblastlive.com. It's such a good story, too. We'll be right back.